everybody. Welcome back to Miss Smith's art class. This Sunday, May 10th, is a very important holiday. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Special shout out to my mom. She's an amazing artist. So I thought it'd be really cool to study an important female artist for Mother's Day. Can you guess? Hmm, that's right, Georgia O'Keeffe. She was a pioneer. She had this way of simplifying the landscape, flowers, deserts, skulls, sky, and she made them simple but yet really powerful and bold, and she would find the essence of things. And she would often um, sit very close to her subjects and zoom in on these close-ups, but paint really large. So it kind of gave you this feeling of being like a bug inside of, of a flower. So. that I made using my iPad and my Apple Pencil on an app called Procreate. So I just found an image of a rose and I traced it and I changed it and I abstracted it and I played with color. So I wanted to kind of test it out digitally before I did my paper version here. So I'm about to start this paper sketch and I want to talk to you about how to start a drawing and I work with my students at school on this, uh, the three L's of sketching. You wanna go light, loose, and large. So one thing I find with um, artists that gets them into trouble is to maybe just focusing on one little tiny area instead of working the entire page. So in the beginning of the drawing, you wanna really start to very lightly map out your points so that you can aim for them and um, get the composition right. Georgia O'Keeffe was a master of composition. So I wanna get this right, um, including things like going off the page and diagonals. So um, you wanna go large to fill the space because you want it to be dynamic and loose so that you're not nailing down into one little space. And when you're starting your sketch, you wanna go very light so that um, it's easy to erase because we all make mistakes and you wanna um, feel free in the sketching process to kind of be able to find your shapes, not worrying about getting it perfect the first time. So I'm gonna um, do a little time-lapse video because we all love that, showing you my process of sketching first.
All right, I just finished my pencil sketch and I worked hard on my composition. And next I'm gonna work on color and contrast. So Georgia O'Keeffe was really good at all of those things. Her bold sense of color is really appealing to me. She's definitely one of my favorite painters of all time. She would abstract things um, by getting close up and also by pushing color. Her, um, her value ranges were very smooth, which I find uh, aesthetically pleasing. So, um, whereas Vincent Van Gogh, you could see his brush strokes more, Georgia would really smooth them out um, and have nice gradations of color or uh, sort of an ombre effect. And I'm trying to achieve that a bit with um, my color scheme here, not as much with blending colors, but working my way from my brightest, lightest yellow um, through the warm spectrum here and into cooler, darker colors. So hopefully that'll do me some favors with um, creating focal point in the middle, uh, drawing your eye around with good movement, and uh, of course getting lots of rainbow colors. You can see from my shirt that my friend Emily made, I love that kind of color scheme. So um, I'm just gonna start with my lightest colors with yellow, work my way out, basically block in the colors, and then at the end I'd like to add a crisp black outline. Now that's not really something Georgia O'Keeffe did, but I am Miss Smith, so I'm going to put my own spin on this. Um, we're not copying Georgia O'Keeffe, we're getting inspired by her for Mother's Day.